Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about sex influence trait and before I will show you how to solve today's problem I want to define uh, the terminology sex limited traits how different from sex uh, influence trait for example sex limited traits would be a bird which appear only in one sex and not in the other sex but sex influence trait would be such a trait that can appear in both males and females but in one sex it can appear much more frequent and example would be boldness that uh, both males and females may have but males would have much more frequent so here's a problem in a ship expression of allele for horns is h plus is sex influence such that males heterozygous uh, H plus H are horned and female heterozygous are not. All dorsets, male and female, are horned because they are H plus H plus types. In contrast, all Suffolks are without horns because they are uniformly H H types. If dorset and Suffolk uh, crosses are mated to each other, what proportion of the resulting ram lumps? would you expect to be horned? What proportion of the u lumps would you expect to be horned? And again, about terminology, male sheep are called rams, the female, youth, and immature animals called lambs. According to our problem, we have to cross desert um, breed, which we know is H plus H plus, to another breed, which is Suffolk, which is H, H genotype. And of course, uh, this one Dorset has horns and this one, which is Suffolk, doesn't have horns. And 100% of the progeny are going to be heterozygous, so going to be H plus H. Now imagine that this F1 generation is a herd where we can find many, many animals, but all these animals, regardless of their sex, are going to be heterozygous. So are going to be H plus H. And of course, 50% of them are going to be males. And all males, which are heterozygous, are going to be with horns and 50% of course of the herd is going to be females and those females are going to have the same genotype which is heterozygous but uh, all of them are going to be without horns. So let's read again our questions. The first question what proportion of the resulting ram lamps, so ram lamps, would you expect to be horned? And according to our problem, 100% of the ram lamps are going to be horned. And the second question, what proportion of the U lamps would you expect to be horned? Again, U lamps are going to be without horns, so 0% are going to be horned according to our problem. So this is going to be two answers. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.